Victor Osimhen was decisive to get Napoli back to winning ways with a towering header and a spectacular assist for Kubica Kvaratskhelia against Cagliari. Kickoff was delayed by 30 minutes, as strong winds damaged part of the roof at the Stadio Maradona and an inspection meant more time was needed to get all the fans in their seats. The Partenope secured their place in the Champions League round of 16, but had lost back-to-back -back Serie A games, so needed a boost. Peter Zielinski joined LG Felmas, Matthias Oliveira and Mario Rui on the treatment table, so Jens Cahuste stepped in. The Sardinians were fresh from another incredible stoppage time comeback to beat Sassuolo, so Leonardo Cavalletti was rewarded with a rare start, as Eldor Shamirodov, Marco Raj and Elio Capradasi missed out. Napoli wore black armbands and there was a minute's silence for former captain and director Antonio Giuliano, who died this week at the age of 80. Kavica Kvaratskhelia's cross from the left was just beyond Victor Osimhen at the back post, then the Nigerian tested Simone Scuffet at the near post. Eduardo Goldaniga twice got himself in the way of Osimhen finishes inside the box, while Cagliari threatened with a Tommaso Agello strike from the edge of the area that was deflected just wide off Giovanni Di Lorenzo. Napoli were unlucky on 29 minutes as Matteo Politano flicked up the free kick for an Amir Rimini header that bounced off the inside of the far post. Cahuste cut inside a defender only to blast over from 12 yards, while Alex Merritt had to rush off his line to deny Nahidin Nandez one-on-one after a Colliery counterattack. The Sardinians moved to 3-5-2 after the restart and Adam Aubert failed to make the most of an error playing out from defense. Andre Frank Zambo Anguisa saw his chest and half volley fly just over the bar, while Scuffet got a hand to the tricky Kvaratskhelia cross shot. The deadlock was finally broken when Mario Rui on his comeback from injury whipped in a cross from the left for the towering Osimhen header from six yards. Scuffet did all he could by parrying it from point-blank range onto the upright, but it ricocheted back in. The game suddenly sprung to life, as moments later Colliery equalized when substitute Zito Lugumbo got down the left and pulled a tot ball across the six-yard box where Pavoletti used his experience to shake off Juan Jesus and turn in from close range. Napoli restored their advantage with extraordinary work from Osimhen, who drew six players around him as he juggled with his chest and knee with his back to goal, managed to turn and get the pass back to Kvaratskhelia to fire in relatively undisturbed at the far post. Politano had the ball in the net 2 on 82 minutes, but it was disallowed because Osimhen was considered to be in an offside position interfering with play. It wasn't over, as Alberto Dawson nodded over from 6 yards on a free kick and comeback Kings Colliery pushed to the very end.